how to get your first 100 subscribers on YouTube. I think it is safe to say that your first 100 subscribers on YouTube is definitely the hardest thing to do. Nobody wants to subscribe to you because you have no credibility. They see that you have such low subscriber count, so they too don't want to subscribe to you. And believe me, the first 100 subscribers, to me, it is so frustrating. And I only wish I knew this one thing that truly, really worked for me. But before I get to that, Hey what's up guys, my name is Kevin and I love turning side hustles into real solid income streams even though it is not easy. But it is possible and this is why I'm showing you in my YouTube channel where I will build my YouTube channel side hustle into a new income stream of mine. If you would like to follow my journey both ups and downs then be sure to hit the subscribe button. So you just started your YouTube channel, congratulations, I think you made a really wise decision. Now that you have started, you're probably wondering, how can you get more subscribers? And if you were to do your research, you're probably going to start searching how to grow your YouTube channel or how to get subscribers fast. And then you start seeing this huge list of videos from many different YouTubers telling you the real way to do it or how to get 100 subscribers in one week. You watch a couple, you start doing what they tell you to do, and then what happens? Tell me truthfully, did you find those results rather disappointing? How many of those channels who told you it works actually works? Look, I'm not trying to defame other YouTubers out there, but let's be real. There are way too many YouTubers who hook you in with a title but doesn't really deliver on the content side. And I'm actually one of those who felt really disappointed. I mean, their videos aren't short. Each video on average is about 10 minutes long, so they better provide really useful information to me. But chances are 90% of the time, they are either really generic advice or they are not going to help you gain new subscribers, even if the title literally says how to gain 100 subscribers in a week. I mean, how many times have you heard of these few tips? To get more subscribers, you need to understand your analytics to see which video performs well, whether they are coming up on search or featured. To get more subscribers, you need to retain your viewers and create great content. To get more subscribers, you need to hook them in at the very start and keep them watching till the end. Look, no offense to those who create contents like that, but they are really generic answers and doesn't really answer the questions of how to get 100 subscribers in a week. At first, I was angry and frustrated because, well, they kind of wasted my time by giving me subpar information. But as my channel continues to grow, I actually understand why they do what they are doing. But I'm not going to go into details on that one. You will find out yourself once the channel starts growing. So what I want to teach you today is how to get your first 100 subscribers the way that really worked for me. And I'm not one of those who is going to tell you that it is going to be really easy and you can do it really fast because that's just not the case here. My channel took about 2 months and 20 videos to get to my first 100 subscribers and then it took a month to get to my 200 subscribers and then another 3 weeks to get to my 300 subscribers. So you see, even though my channel isn't growing as fast, but I am growing steadily and strongly. And that is what I want to teach you today, to have a strong steady growth instead of a sharp boost in subscribers that will ultimately disappoint you. That's the way I like to approach my channel. Once in a while, I do get a sharp boost in subscribers thanks to the YouTube algorithm, but my advice to you is try and take that as a bonus from YouTube, so don't rely on it. Now, what I'm about to tell you is sort of a mindset thing, so this also works even after you get 100 subscribers. Okay, so when you start your channel, the first thing you need to do is to not focus on subscribers. Yes, you heard me right, do not focus on getting subscribers. I know, it is really easy to be absorbed into it, but the more you focus on it, the harder it is for you. It will feel like your subscriber count isn't going up at all or hardly moving. Instead, I want you to focus on building up your content, upload more videos, improving your video quality, and create a brand around yourself. Most people get too caught up with the views and subscribers at the very start, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's how social media works. But I need you to ask yourself this question. Why do you want to start a YouTube channel? Is it to show off to your friends and family? Is it to get some sort of social recognition? Or is it to earn some extra money? You need to establish this at the very start because depending on your answer, it will set your YouTube channel's direction. If you're in this for social recognition, then you're better off creating entertaining videos because entertaining videos can get you views and subscribers really quickly. Niche like gaming or pranks, those are the type of content that can grow your channel fast at the start. But if you are like me, my aim is to earn money off YouTube, which is why my niche is in education, primarily in the money side of things. The reason is because money or finance or marketing or real estate, that sort of niche has a much higher ad payout once you start monetizing. 
For example, you could be paid $5 for every 1,000 times an ad pops up in your video. So if your video gets viewed 10,000 times, you get paid $50. But that is only if you are in a niche with high payouts. If you are in, say, prank videos that doesn't offer any values, then you could be paid 50 cents for every 1,000 times an ad pops up in your video instead. So you need to decide what is it that you want at the very start. A high subscriber count with high views doesn't necessarily mean you are going to get paid a lot. Just remember that. My advice to you is do it so that you earn money off of YouTube. But if you choose this path, then it is going to be hard because at the very start, no one will listen to you, no one will click on your videos just because you do not have that subscriber count yet. So like I said, it is going to be very tough, but it will be worth it. So grind through it. If you want to see what a healthy YouTube channel growth looks like, check out this website called Social Blade. This website allows you to search for any YouTubers and you can see for yourself how their channel is growing in terms of views and subscribers. And here's mine. Notice how I'm gaining subscribers every day? This is actually what I suggest you should go after, rather than having those once-off jump in subscribers. It may look very little, but you want to play the long game, and in the long run, your channel has the potential to grow exponentially. There will be channels who grew to 1,000 subscribers in 7 days, but ignore those, because they will stall at some point and may not grow for many weeks after that. Just look at Social Blade, some of them who had this jump in subscribers aren't necessarily real subscribers, if you know what I mean. So anyways, now that I've got you to set a direction for your YouTube channel, let's help you get that first 100 subscribers. In order to get there, do these two things. First, as I previously said, is to focus on building content for your channel. I'd advise you to upload at least two videos a week. Not only does it make your channel more credible, but it also gets you started and gets you making and improving your video quality. Again, do not focus on getting subscribers. Imagine this, when you buy a new home, what do you do first? Do you invite people over to your home right away? No, right? You first fill up your new home with furniture and decoration and make your house feel homey. And after you have done that, then you start inviting people over to your new house. The same goes for your channel. No one's going to subscribe to you if there's not much in your channel. Your videos are your products and without more products, no one is going to be interested in what you have to offer. And the second thing you need to do to get your first 100 subscribers, engagement. For your first 20 or so subscribers, you can get your friends and family to subscribe to your awesome channel. Or maybe you can get your first 100 subscribers just from friends and family. I don't know because I don't have much friends. But if you want to get true viewers and subscribers for your channel, then what you need to do is engage with other YouTubers' content. Watch channels with similar niche and leave them a meaningful comment. It is actually giving yourself exposure and people will check out your channel based on your comments. This is the one way that I am sure works very well to get to your first 100 subscribers. I did not do this at the start and I stayed stagnant at about 20 subscribers for over 3 weeks and it was driving me crazy because I was releasing 2 videos a week and I gained literally no subscribers out of them. But once I started doing engagements, I was surprised at how many people would actually check out my channel based on my comments. These are the two things I suggest you should focus on to get to your first 100 subscribers. And once you're there, then you can start learning more tips and strategies to advance further and a lot faster. Do not blindly follow the advice of those YouTubers with big following. They are getting a lot of views and exposures, so they can afford to play with their analytics to further improve their video quality. But for you, you are just starting out. You do not have those data, and therefore you cannot rely on your analytics. They are just not accurate enough, at least until your channel starts gaining some traction. So now that you know those two simple and doable tips, I want to give you one bonus tip, and that is never ever ever do sub for sub. A sub for sub is basically asking someone to subscribe to your channel and in return you too will subscribe to their channel. It is by far the fastest way to gain subscribers, but you will literally gain nothing out of it. Not only that, you will also sacrifice your channel's quality because those who do sub for sub, they will only watch your video once and never come back. This tells YouTube your channel is horrible up to the point where even your own subscribers are not willing to watch your videos. Ignore those people who do sub for sub, they're just doing it for the numbers, for social recognitions, and their channel will suffer once they hit a roadblock. I tend to ignore those channels who do sub for sub, they are pretty easy to spot. 
you will see a sudden spike in subscribers, yet the number of views they get for their new videos remains disturbingly low. I'm talking about those channels with over 1,000 subscribers, yet the new videos they release are only getting on average 40 views. You will be tempted to do it, there will be people asking you to do it, but just don't do it. That's my advice to you and it is your choice to choose to listen. If you still want to do it, then at least you know the consequences. Okay, I hope you find this video useful and helpful. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoy it and consider subscribing if you haven't done so. I would really appreciate the support. So thank you for your time. I will see you again in the next video. Chat with you soon. See ya.